everybody, today's video is all about setting up a guinea pig hutch. So if you're going to get a guinea pig and you need a little guidance on how to set up the environment for them, then this is the perfect video for you. I will be demonstrating on my hutch today um, and I'll be showing you exactly how to set it up. So just showing you the essentials first, I do have a video all about the essentials that you need and I talk about them in a lot of detail, but here's a very brief outline. You will need some substrate that is non-dusty and absorbent. Shavings, paper-based beddings like fitch, hay, fleece and puppy bags are all great options but it's best to pick the substrate that suits you and your lifestyle. So I use snowflake wood shavings because they are long lasting, easy to clean and good for a tight budget. As you can see they are non-dusty and therefore excellent for guinea pigs as they have very sensitive respiratory systems. Hay is an essential as a guinea pig needs hay 24-7. I buy mine in big bales from a farm. This is really cheap and effective. I also recommend you have some lino or newspaper on, to line the hutch flooring and the shed flooring if you have a shed as well. This will prevent it from getting damaged as it acts like a barrier to the wood. The lino flooring can be found in like DIY stores and flooring shops. I got mine off eBay, I ordered it, um, I ordered a whole roll and I just cut my required knees so there's like measurements online, you choose how many metres you want by what um, and then you just cut it out and put it in the shed and the hutch. It's waterproof and mostly tree proof and excellent to keep it a lot long lasting. Literature is also ideal, both my guinea pigs go to the toilet in these instead of the centre of the cage and it keeps all the mess in one place, they aren't completely litter trained, um, not anymore but they make everything easier to clean out and wipe down. Toys are also ideal as these provide enrichment, I prefer to keep my hutch to a minimum and put some toys on the flooring of the shed instead. Chew toys are also essential but you don't have to go out and buy specific chew toys if you choose like wooden toys like bendy log bridges and cardboard tunnels they also act as tubes and like apple twigs they're also all great so you don't have to go out and buy expensive stuff but just make sure they have something to chew their teeth on otherwise your hutch will be the victim. Hideouts are also extremely important because when you first get your guinea pigs they will be nervous so I use soft hideouts on the shed floor and provide mountains of hay for them to hide in in their hutch. However, you can use cardboard boxes or plastic hideouts, tunnels, stuff like that, anything that they can sort of hide under if they get a bit nervous. Hay racks are not essential but a great way to provide hay which is clean from guinea pigs soiling on it as well. So if you want to get some hay racks then that's always a good idea. Water bottles, bowls are also essential so your guinea pigs can have water access obviously and they also need um, the old food that they were fed on and the new food that you may want to feed them on. Mix those together and then you can gradually transition them over to the food you want to feed them on. So to start off you just need a suitable setup. I've specified this video to preparing a hutch because I've really done a video on a cage setup which I will link below in the description. A hutch is an adequate home for guinea pigs and the recommended size for two guinea pigs by the RSPCA is 120 centimetres by 60 by 45. This is required for guinea pigs living in the UK. I personally believe this is too small and I'm a strong believer in the bigger the better. So here I have a hutch from Pets at Home. It's a rose cottage and it measures around 122 centimetres by 152 by 61 and this is over two levels. However, I personally prefer, prefer to provide even more space so my guinea pigs can have more access to running around everywhere. So I give them the shed floor as well, which measures roughly around eight foot by four foot, so they have plenty of space. So to start preparing, I line the hutch and the floor with lino and also cover it with a thin layer of newspaper. This just makes cleaning very easy as you can just roll up the newspaper with all the bedding inside. I then place the litter trays in the corners of the cage as the corners are the most common place for a guinea pig to wee and poo. I, but I do also place newspaper in the litter trays as this makes cleaning a lot easier. Then I start filling it with bedding. For new guinea pigs it's always best to use some of their old bedding from their old environment. This helps them feel at home. Even if your guinea pigs aren't new and you just want advice on setting up the cage, it's always best to keep some of the old bedding and putting it in with the new just to keep the scent for your guinea pig. 
A thick layer of shavings is ideal as it will prevent the urine from travelling to the bottom of the case too quickly and will prevent your guinea pigs from having wet feet quickly. Remember to pile high in the corners because this is the most common spot for guinea pigs to do its business. Now time for hay. Be generous with it and put lots of it in, don't be shy. Guinea pigs need hay 24-7 to keep their digestive systems going, so pile it high. I put lots of hay in for them to eat and sleep in. Then add some toys in the cage. I stick to basic tunnels and these are their favourite and don't clutter the cage. I also add garlands for them to chew and also add water bottles. I always recommend using two water bottles to avoid fighting as water is so essential. You don't want one of the guinea pigs to be without it. I then fill up the food bowl with the old food and perhaps mix in some of the new food. And then I add a bit more hay in the hay racks and a few more toys and chews here and there. As you can see the hutch is very basic and there is little entertainment because I don't like to overcrowd it because it gets very tight as it can be quite small otherwise. So I fill the shed floor with loads of toys and shoes so they can stay entertained. I start this by lining the floor with newspaper to avoid any urine from sticking to the lino and then I fill the floor with a huge variety of toys and chews. Time to put your new best friends in, in their cage and watch them enjoy. Don't be surprised if they just hide a lot for the first few weeks or so. Remember a big environment is scary for them and it will take some adjusting. I hope this has been helpful, thank you so much for watching and why not click the screen and watch my previous video. Bye!